What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'd like to talk about jewelry crafting in the Elder Scrolls Online and how a lot of people in the community over the years have discussed changes to jewelry crafting because the materials are so hard to obtain compared to other crafting materials and they're also very expensive compared to other crafting materials. Really no matter what platform you play on, and I do understand that each platform has different prices, but even here on console, on PlayStation, uh, jewelry crafting mats have always stayed pretty high. I understand they're even higher at times on Xbox and really high on PC. But overall, I think a lot of people would like to see changes to this. And I don't really think it's ever going to happen. I do understand both sides of it. Some people don't mind uh, the grind for jewelry crafting. And I understand if you're a newer player or if you're a person that does not get to play a lot, a lot every day, that it is kind of tough to really get into jewelry crafting and be able to make anything and be able to gain a lot of material because it does take a good bit of time to gather them and actually be able to get what you need. Um, there is one thing that I think we all can agree on, whether you like the current system or you don't, is we do need a jewelry uh, hireling. I, I think that is something that Zoss should have added in when jewelry crafting was actually put into the game. We have, you know, all the different NPCs that will send us stuff for blacksmithing, clothing, and etc. We don't really have anything for like or like that for jewelry. So I think that's one thing that would really help out overall. Players in the community have suggested things like, you know, lowering, you know, that rate or, you know, making the rate increase in what you get uh, materials at and actually getting rid of uh, that blue and green dust and making, you know, blue and green material just be given to you in plates instead of dust. That is one thing, of course, you know, that does kind of differ from all the other crafting in the game. We actually have to get all the dust, gather enough dust to make a plate, and that really does frustrate a lot of players. And like I said, I understand if you don't get to play a lot, it is a hard thing to do to be able to get on and get enough material to craft jewelry. Um, if you're not a person either that has a lot of crafting characters, I mean, me, I have, you know, always have had anywhere from 15 to 18 characters at all times that could do crafting daily. And if you have a lot of characters, you do your daily writ zone, you're going to end up with a good bit of material just from your, uh, you know, your daily writs from turning those in. So you'll get plenty of jewelry crafting material that way. And like I said, if we also had a hireling, that would help out as as well. But I do get that a lot of people don't have the time to have that many. Uh, you, if you only get to play a couple hours a night, uh, if you're busy with work or school or whatever the case may be, family, um, it's you don't really want to get on and just do writs all night. So I understand doing daily writs is a good way for players to gain more you know jewelry material but i get at the same time some players may not have that ability to do so overall i don't really think if you're looking for a big change i don't really think zoss is going to change the way jewelry crafting works in the game they said before they want it to be different from other crafting systems they already have you know in the elder scrolls online they want it to be more unique they want it to be kind of more of a grind i mean you can look at it and tell that it is more of a grind. You only can research one item at a time. You only can get grains to make plates. So you can tell they were wanting to make this more of a unique thing to almost be more of a rewarding thing. And at the same time, it does make the material cost more. So if you're a person that really doesn't care about making jewelry gold, you can make a lot of money by just selling those gold chromium plates. So um, I think overall, even though the community has, like I said, been on both sides of this, some like it, some don't, the way the system is set up, I don't really think Zoss is going to make any changes. The only change that I really wish, like I said, that I would that they would make would be, you know, giving you the option to have a hireling for jewelry crafting. That way, you know, it would be like all of the other crafting systems we have. You know, you have a hireling for all of the other systems. And I think jewelry crafting needs one as well. And I think that would be something that they could kind of, you know, add into the game that would meet a little bit of middle ground between people that think it's, you know, way too hard to craft jewelry and some players that actually like the system. And overall, I really don't ever, you know, put a lot of gold material into, you know, jewelry in the game anyway. I always do weapons and gear. I will gold out a few pieces of, uh, of jewelry sets. I sell a lot of mine to make, you know, money back for myself. And plus a lot of things get nerfed. So I kind of hate to waste gold material on jewelry if it's going to get nerfed, you know, if something's going to get nerfed pretty often. Anyway, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think about jewelry crafting and ESO. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you hadn't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.